Yo, 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 what's up? This is General Jay, General Jay, General in the Peach Capital of the State. All right, check this out. Woo, it's bright. What is that? Y'all see that? That's just one set of lights. Let me do the sidewall. Boom. And uh, some of them need to be cleaned. All right, so check this out. Little uh, midweek update. Been working. Getting everything taped up, moved, whatever. Then, after all that, been working on this. So, uh, good buddy Caleb, he works for a boiler company. <clears throat> He's been coming over helping me. <clears throat> so, we got the major part done. We got the heater hung. I got to get some turn buckles because I got, see, it's kind of, it's kind of whatever. So, here's the thing. One chain is one inch. We don't need to go an inch, we need to go a little bit. So I'm gonna get a couple turnbuckles, put on this end. We got two turnbuckles that way, pulling it. I got a turnbuckle right there, going from there to there, pulling it this way. And then the other one's pulling it the other way, but I need to pick it up. <clears throat> I'll tell you what, VA sent me some hearing aid batteries. Man, everything's like super loud. All right, see how it's kind of just cocked over just a little bit? So it needs to come up about a half of an inch. So I'm gonna put a turnbuckle on that one and kick it and then that'll be fine. All right, that right there is 80,000 BTUs of, of radiant tube heat. <clears throat> it is exactly 12 foot from the bottom of that to the floor. So <clears throat> vehicle will be about right here. So that gives about six foot and the guy at Space Ray Infrared Gas Heaters, he said that as long as I got six foot or better, uh, I'm in good shape, so we'll see. So now, what, what I'm gonna do now is come off of the blower motor right there. Go right there, come out 90 and go out the wall. And then that thing is sealed, but the fresh air is right there. So we're gonna put a flange there and seal it there and front it out. So it's gonna be pulling fresh air from outside and exhaust, it's gonna push the exhaust outside. So it's completely sealed um, once we do that. So I talked to the manufacturer and they said that would work. Originally, what I was gonna use, and I just seen a guy the other day, he put one up and it works phenomenal, but I was gonna have to build duct work and also I was gonna have to put some kind of filter banks. And I've been in two types of booth. I've been in a booth where hot air has been blowed and the trash. And then I've been in one with infrared and it's completely different. Cause if I'd have been smart, I'd have put PEX line in the floor and I'd have ruined water from the boiler down here and I'd have heated the floor. Um, so this right here is what that old guy had the other day. And that right there is 225,000 BTUs of pure love. So that heater is sitting right there. So the other day when I'd done the trim out in the C10 and I painted that Toyota, cause Cody was sick. Um, I put that sun gun right there turn that bad boy on right there and wet the floor, pulled the garage door down because see my garage door is still here. So I pulled the garage door down and had the big door shut and was only using the lower filter banks and it stayed 80 degrees in here. But I had some trash issues and that's because of that thing, turbulence circling up the air. Even though both fans was pulling out 32,000 CFM of air has still created a turbulence. So got the carpet ordered today from Lowe's. Uh, they said they can pick it up in a few days. So I need, uh, this is 24 by 24. So I'm gonna put green outdoor carpet down and that's gonna eliminate a lot of dirt and dust. And a lot of people says, man, you got your compressor in there. Look, for the thousandth time. It's not a compressor, it's a holding tank. But 
uh, now since we're, we thought we was putting the gas tanks out back, now they're over to the side because they ended up getting a different tank. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna reverse this, punch a hole through the wall and set this outside and then that's completely out of the way. So that's an update. Uh, everybody, this is 24 by 24. Uh, there is 1 million looms of light in here and they're all LEDs and everything's got booth coating on it. It's a little dingy. It just needs to be pressure washed with hot water and it'd be good to go. So that's that. I appreciate every single one of you. Remember what I said, don't worry about the man down the road. Don't worry about the man up the road. Sweep off your own front porch before you worry about anybody else. Put God first, let loose in drag. And I am very thankful for this new concrete up here because it is tremendously nice. So don't be jealous of the man up the road and don't be jealous of the man down the road. Don't worry about what everybody else is doing. And don't look at an individual and say, it must be nice. Because you don't know what it must be nice, the sacrifices they have to make to make it be nice. Everybody has the same 24. Um, everybody, appreciate you. Y'all have a blessed day. Peace, love, and chicken grease. I'm out.